Well, hi lovelies and welcome back to the doll room. Now, today I have a thrift haul for you. I found some amazing things at the charity shop. I tried to film it. I've got this tiny little bit of footage, but charity shops are tiny in the UK and it's really difficult to film in them. So hopefully I'm going to get better at that, but I thought I would share today what I bought. Now I did film me unbagging all of this stuff, but it was just too dark when I looked at the footage back. So everything is open and I've been through everything, but I still wanted to show you what I found. So I bought one doll and then there was a big play set with a bag tied to it full of bits and pieces and it was 15 pounds and the doll was 50p. So we're gonna start with the doll. I absolutely love her. She's a Mycene Madison and I grabbed her because not only is she a Mycene, she's got the most divine face, but she's also articulated on the legs. So I was wondering what Mycene she could be. The orange stripes at the back kind of gave it away. All this hair needs work, I know. But I googled Madison orange hair articulated Mycene dolls and it came out that she is the Rollerblade Mycene Barbie from 2006 and in the bag, unbelievably, there was just one of her boots and you can see she's a rollerblade because you can see the holes on the shoe where the rollerblades would go. So now I am just trying to keep an eye out for um, other boots and her skirt and her top and her jacket. Um, she also came with an orange helmet as well, a rollerblade helmet. So it's just really exciting. This little dress came in the bag of stuff. So I've put her in that for now. Um, she's got one boot, look at those boots, they're brilliant. But I love her, I've been carrying her around with me. She does need loads of work, but she's gorgeous and she's loved and she's back in my collection. And she was 50 pence, so an absolute bargain. But I'm just so in love with her face. I think her face is so stunning. So now to the big play set. Now I paid 15 pounds for this play set, which had a big clear sort of bin bag tied to it that was full of things like shoes and clothes and different things. And I wanna show you the play set now. So here it is, it still has the label on it saying the set 15 pounds. And it is the Barbie cruise ship, how awesome so is that? It comes with lots of bits and pieces. There's like lounging furniture and cushions and blankets for inside and tables. It comes with loads of stuff. So I'm gonna put it on my desk and I'm gonna turn my camera around and I'm gonna show you this place. Okay, there. so let's attempt to open this up so it's okay, oh, there it is. Look, there's, it opens up like this. So let's take all of these, this furniture off. So it needs a good clean. Oh, so that just slides straight out like that. And that is like a pool area. Look at that, that's so cool. With a dolphin. All needs a really good clean, like I say. So that opens up like that. And then this play set is, uh, you've got, I think this lifts up. Yeah, this one lifts up like that. You've got bedrooms up there. So this is where the blankets would come in. You've got the different beds this table folds around like that and all of the chairs are out like this another sofa in there and that folds down as a table like that and then we've got a swinging chair that hooks on there and hooks into the parasol there i think that's a tv there 
So let me show you what we've got now. So you can see that the base of the cruise ship comes apart. This slides out. You could fill this with water and you've got kind of like a pool set down. So that's really fun. This part opens up with a table that folds out and there's a couple of sun loungers and with cushions. You've got a stereo and a little drinks bottle. There's somewhere there for cakes under two disco balls. Uh, there's a swinging hammock in here under an umbrella. Uh, the beds fold out up here. So you've got a little blanket here and a, um, a little uh, sleeping bag there. I think that's a Shelly sleeping bag. Uh, you've got the steering bit there. Just a really lovely play set, I think, for... Uh, for, for Barbie for if you want to set up things for mermaids or do a beach scene fantastic price to get this and all the other bits and bobs for for 15 pounds I think so that was just a real joy to find I'm going to enjoy setting that up in the doll room to kind of play with and use as a display for some of the Barbies but also in the bag along with the ship or the cruise ship we also have some other dolls they all need work so they're going to be dolls that probably i have a first go at rerouting their hair and things like that but i want to show you what else is in there first thing which i absolutely love her original outfit was complete in the bag as well is this barbie here who's articulated at the knees because she needs to bend down because she has a pet to look after now this is a pet that when you push down on it it has puppies which i just it cracked me up so you can see underneath it has a um, hole in its tummy so when you push down on it the hole opens inside its tummy i think it originally came with three but there were two little pups all together so your pups go in the tummy and then when you press down <laughs> the pups come out and we've got Barbie here looking after mommy dog as she gives birth to her puppies so really odd now she is um, she's been attacked with scissors and it looks like felt tip pen as well so I might either go with that and restyle her and cut her hair short or something trying to restyle or I might just try and reroute her. She says 2013 on her neck. I googled all of these dolls and outfits I photo searched them to try and find out just exactly what I'd got and um, this um, top and the shorts and the little white shoes were her original outfit they were all loose in the big bag of stuff as well so apart from one puppy that is a complete set so i was really pleased with that in the set and she does have a gorgeous face just a shame about the hair but we can sort that also in the bag was a barbie bike now we have one pedal that keeps wanting to fall off so i'm gonna have to super glue that but it's it's a really good bike look it works the pedals work properly now the barbie that i think goes with the bike is this one the helmet was loose in the bag and these clothes and shoes were loose in the bag I am beginning to realise that secondhand Barbies often have their hands chewed. I know on this Mycene Barbie, her hands are a little bit the worse for wear as well. But again, I can love my dolls through that. But um, yeah, she is, um, She, I think she's the Barbie that goes with the bike because she's fully articulated at the knees. She's also articulated at the hands but she is missing thumbs. Look, her thumbs are chewed off where she would have held on to the bike. So we're just gonna have to come up with a plan to do something with her funky to keep her sitting on the bike. Also, if you take the helmet off, her hair is really seriously in need of some work. You can see the hair plugs have come out, but with all of this, in in play with 
her needing so much work look her neck is a bit broken there just look at how beautiful her face is her face is gorgeous so she's definitely going to be a Barbie that I look at bringing back to life. I'm going to use her to attempt to reroute her hair and to do something with her hands. I'm not sure yet, but let's see if we can love this one back to full beauty because I think her face is so gorgeous. So that was a Barbie with a bike. Also in the bag came a Barbie car, which I think is amazing. Look, you've got the be on all the wheels and it's got ribbons on the seats <laughs> and it's got seat belts um, we only have one wing mirror in there which I've still got to try and work out how to put on so it's not perfect but it's good enough for me to make a really nice display somewhere with it also in the bag there was another Barbie now I googled her and she is a fashionista doll from I think it's 2015 she was called powder pink now her dress this is her original dress but it needs to be sewn up this blue ribbon goes across the front of course her hair needs work the original doll which i'll put pictures of in here was curly but again look how gorgeous her face is it's just she's got the most gorgeous face she was just part of this massive 15 pound bag and they've come to me just to be loved no matter what so i can always keep an eye out for a pair of shoes that match next time I'm at the charity shop, but look at her. Also in the play set, I got the Barbie moped <laughs> with its little case on the back. Again, just amazing just to pick this up in a big bag, so cheap. There was a little Chelsea in there as well. Now I've Googled this dress to try and work out which Chelsea she is. I can't find any details on her. So if anybody knows, then let me know in the comments. That would be fantastic. Then outfits that were loose in the bag. I was really hoping to find some more bits of this Madison outfit, but there was only, unfortunately, there was only just the one boot in there. But what was in there was this beautiful, dress now this is from the style switch um, Mel descendants doll dress so um, it came with that it came with the brush in there that goes with the doll it also I think this backpack might belong to that doll as well and it came with the pair of boots were in there as well so that's amazing to have most of that outfit. So now to just look for the doll thrifted. There were some Bratz outfits in there. There was a pair of Bratz jeans. I think that might be from a rocker Bratz. I think this is from a skater Bratz. And another pair of Bratz jeans was in there. Bratz is not something that I've really got. I think there might be one in the loft somewhere. So anyway, I've got some Bratz then clothes. Then another outfit which I absolutely loved. And I could tell it was real quality. I mean, look at this dress with a little collar and the fur trim. And then it, these boots as well. I mean, look at those amazing boots and this bag as well was all in there and having researched it this belongs to an ever after high doll the winter edition mad hatter doll i'll put a picture in here but i've almost got the entire outfit there with the bag and the shoes now just to find the doll. There were a range of other dolls clothes in there some of these look small enough to be brats now these are trousers from a chloe brats doll and it was a chloe hoverboard and i know that because the hoverboard with the controls to control it and the helmet was in the bag so i googled i picture search on google what this was realized it was the hoverboard chloe um and then realized that these jeans are part of that as well so there's part of a brat set there um there is this skirt 
and this clip on plastic torso that goes with it this is a princess barbie outfit and like i say there's jeans and there's tops i'm not quite sure what any of these outfits go to i think they're just probably more um generic play outfits but you can see there's all of these little old vintage dresses this is from an eye girl doll and there's a number of random shoes and boots some pairs some not so that's it guys my very first thrifted doll share with you a cruise ship play set a mycene barbie or madison uh, a chelsea and some barbies that all need work some with outfits some without a dog that gives puppies we've got descendants outfits and ever after high outfits and cars and mopeds and bikes some brats clothes to start the collection a brats hoverboard with just a foot no doll as yet but watch this space for that a pile of vintage clothes i think for 15 pounds and then an additional 50 pence for the mycene madison roller girl with her one shoe i think that was quite a bargain do you agree i i think that was a bargain 15 pounds 50 and all the fun that i'm going to have now bringing some of these rather forgotten barbies back to life again so that's it guys thank you so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed that thrift haul and uh, lots of love from the doll room and i'll see you next time bye